guys and welcome to another episode of Behind the Closed Doors and you can already see it's different. Now if you tune in for the first time because you probably found this by a keyword, this channel is normally about photography and video. But sometimes we also do something else and today I have something really special. This is the new Cube Hybrid React 500 Pro. It's an electric mountain bike. It can travel up to 25 kilometers with assistance. And above that, you really have to do the work yourself. And today, I'm not an experienced mountain biker. It's actually the first time I'm driving an electric mountain bike after a short test drive yesterday. And I got so many questions online that I thought, let's make a small video and just give you my opinion on it. So join me for a little drive around my neighborhood. Now you know the thing for me is I like cycling, but I just hate these roads in the, well, in my area. It's all flat, it's pretty boring, but I like the areas where we are going now, but they're about like six, seven, eight, ten kilometers away from our home. So it's always a choice between do I drive 10 kilometers with an MTB to have a nice drive and then 10 kilometers back, or do I do a different route? And thanks to the electric mountain bike, I can now literally get there faster, have fun on eco mode, and then drive back in turbo. And we are going to do the first test to see if it's really cheating. Because over there, we have a small climb, which normally is pretty doable, but you feel it in your legs. Let's try it in turbo mode. Just see what happens. Yes, that felt absolutely like cheating, but a lot of fun. Okay, I'm about four and a half kilometers away from home. This is where the fun starts. So from turbo, a little bit cheating, to eco mode. And let's do this the way that I normally do. Let's see if eco mode translates a little bit back to my normal mountain bike, which by the way, also has a Cube React only from 2013. Looking forward to this one. Isn't this beautiful? Now, one of the first questions I got like, hey Frank, why an electric mountain bike? Well, as a photographer, I love to go places and I love to take pictures of those places. And with a normal mountain bike, it's great for off-road. But if you're on a trip with, for example, the RV, and you wanna go, let's say, a distance of 25 kilometers to see something. With a normal bike, that's very doable. With a mountain bike, especially in a little bit of a hill terrain, not so much. So that's one reason. And the other reason is, of course, I live in a beautiful area, but a lot of the routes are 20, 30, maybe 35, 40 kilometers. With a normal mountain bike with off-road tire pressure, it's a great workout, but it's not something that well, you really look forward to, especially with those long flat roads. And there are only small areas that are really cool for mountain bikes. So 90% of the time you're pedaling and you're driving boring roads for 10% of pleasure. Now that's about 70-30, because I'm there faster, I have more fun and I can do longer routes. Okay, the difference between the turbo mode and the eco mode. Yeah, <laughs> that's a huge difference. So I think when you ask me, compared to the old bike, when you turn the motor off, it's definitely a lot tougher to get pedaling. With the eco mode, I think it's about a little bit easier than with the old bike, but not a lot. So if you really want to work out and you want to have it comparable to your old bike, especially on the roads, I'm not doing any off-road now, on the road, eco mode feels a little bit like my old bike without any motor. So yeah, is it faking on eco mode? Definitely not, because you still get a great workout.
Okay, arrived at one of my favorite locations to take some pictures of the bike. And because there's so much noise, I'm gonna do the commentary somewhere else. Took some cool pictures of the bike with the Sony camera, that's why Anyweek was here. Up to the next part. Listen, listen really close. Do you hear that? Absolutely nothing. Silence. So this is a great place to do actually some more commentaries on the bike. Okay, one of the first things that a lot of people will say, ah, electric mountain biking, that's faking. It's not real. It's, you have to train, Frank. You have to train, you have to get up that power. Yeah, sure, but, and everything before butt is actually bullshit, you know that, right? Of course, an electric mountain bike, you don't use the power that you normally use. But you have to realize, I'm a big guy. Maybe I shouldn't even be on a mountain bike with my size and my weight. But I love it, and I especially love off-roading. And in all honesty, if I'm on a normal bike, I can, I can pretty much get over the trail... I get it, but every steep climb, I have to get off my bike and walk. Is that bad? No, of course not. I'm there. I'm working on my stamina, right? I can do a lot. But thanks to a little bit of assistance, I can actually do that climb and have way more fun. And do realize that with mountain biking, it's not all about power. Of course, power is a big part of it, but it's also technique. It's about how do you corner? How do you actually getting up an, a hill? It isn't just power. If it was only power, that would be easy. But it's also the technique. Find the right lines. Find the right curves. Find the right angle under which you steer. Find the way that you move up your bike. If you go way to the back, you will actually flip to the side. If you move too much forward... You know, there's so many things that are technique related that has nothing to do with power. And then that little bit of extra power... Dude... I haven't had so much fun on a bike in a long time. For me, when I look at these surroundings, this is awesome. But we are now about, how far away from home? About 10 kilometers from home. And this is the most beautiful part. So I normally have to drive 10 kilometers, almost 11 kilometers, by the way, to get to the beautiful part. With this electric mountain bike, for me, and this will vary per person, of course, it's very simple. On turbo mode, I will do everything that's boring as heck. And then as soon as the fun part starts, I will switch over to eco mode. And if I need a little bit of assistance to electrical mountain bike mode. So why be boring if you can have a, have a little bit of help? I have a lot of fun. So let's continue. Okay, that was really easy. And we are at the old ruins here. It's a monument. And this is on the route. I always love visiting this place to just take a little bit of drink and continue. It's about halfway. Now, one of the first things I always change on a bike is the saddle. Somehow, the original saddles, they, they, they feel more like medieval torment than a saddle. If you don't have any problems with your butt, hey, you will. That's my opinion, at least. And this bike, actually, they told me, don't change the saddle. You're going to love it. And I was like, yeah, more people told me that. But in all honesty, I absolutely love the saddles. I'm not going to put my old saddle on here. So, and it, this is the stock saddle, so imagine that. So it's nice and soft. It gives me a lot of support. And even now, I'm now about how long away from home? Let me see. Okay. I'm about an hour away from home. And oh, I don't have any problems yet. And normally, with a normal saddle, about an hour drives. 
I will have to paint him about. So that's great. Overall, first impressions, awesome. There's one thing that you really have to take care of, and that's something that I actually experienced a few times now. When you are in EMTB mode or in turbo mode or whatever mode, it's very, very simple to yeah, to start in a too high gear when you go back to off or eco mode. This is something on my old bike. I knew exactly in which gear I was, in which gear I had to be to, well, to properly get away from a traffic light or whatever. With this bike, if you change your output, so let's say you drive on turbo, you are in a traffic light situation and you think, ah, oh, let's switch it back to eco mode, don't. Because you will have a lot of trouble getting your bike to ride again. So that's something I have to get used to. But is that a negative thing? It's actually what you can expect because with turbo you have a lot more support. So yeah, of course when you go back to eco, you can't start in the highest gear. But overall, very, very happy. Now being an EV rider, one of the first things people always ask me is like, Hey Frank, how much can you drive on one battery? And in all honesty, that's something that really, really worried me. Because let's be honest, I'm not a small guy. I'm a big guy. I'm a really big guy. But I also know how to bicycle. So in other words, I also have a lot of power in my legs. And that's not a good combination, being heavy, tall, and having a lot of power in your legs. Because believe me, there are a lot of bikes that I actually, well, destroyed over the years. Because, well, the cassettes in the back and the gear shifters, they get a lot of tension. And I wonder how this one will. But anyway, so about the battery. Because I'm a heavy guy, I thought that the battery would be a real problem. So when you look online, they actually guarantee about 60 kilometers out of this battery. And I was going like, well, I think if I'm getting 20, 30, I'm, I'm really happy. And you probably already saw the display. I'm now halfway through and it's still fully charged. So I didn't lose any bars yet. And it still says I can do 61 kilometers. If that's true, that's freaking awesome. I don't think so, but let's see when I'm home, how many miles or kilometers I can still drive. Because again, if this is true, I've used a lot of turbo also up the, the hill over there. So if that's true, that would be really great. Okay, from the moment we entered the woods again, I turned off everything on the motor. So everything on off, not eco. Uh, this is a part that I drive a lot. And there are some climbs in there, but in all honesty, guys, climbs, it's like a glorified speed bump, but they are climbs for us. And I think my previous conclusion is pretty much spot on. With eco mode on, it cycles a little bit easier than my old bike. With everything off, this definitely is a little bit heavier and it's not really a lot heavier than my old bike but you can feel that there's more resistance so but the tires are a little bit wider of course the bike is more heavy it's a new bike I have to get used to so I'm a little bit in doubt but I think if you stay between off and eco mode you get a hell of a workout so it's it's definitely not cheating on eco or off that's one thing that's for certain okay let's go for the final part Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
Okay, just for your information, the part we're cycling through now is called the Stone Garden. And these stones have been here for a gazillion years, just very, very long. Uh, it's close to Nagelen, it's a very touristy place, they say, but I don't see a lot of people here often, but it's a beautiful, beautiful place to go walking or actually take the mountain bike around. Although, I don't know if you can drive here with a bike, but there are not a lot of people here, but if you are in our neighborhood, this is one of the parts that you really have to visit. It's beautiful. Okay, back at the old harbor of Schokland, and actually we now also know for sure that the Insta360 in Hyper, no, time shift, actually runs for 1 hour and 35 minutes. They advertise 1 hour and 30, they give you 5 minutes more. So the rest of the trip I'm going to try to film with the DJI Osmo Pocket. So I never did that before on the bike, so let's hope that the footage looks a little bit interesting. Okay, final stage of the trip. This is where I'm gonna end this vlog and semi-review. Now, one of the things that I really like is actually that the battery is inside the frame. So you don't see the battery anymore as a lump. It is a big frame, but the battery is in here. So you press the button. Let me see if I can do that with one hand. Yes. And it drops down like this and you can see the battery. Now, this is the 500. I wanted to go for the 625, but it didn't have an on stock. But you can still change that for the 625, as you can see here. So there's a lot of room in here for improvements and upgrades. Of course, you can charge at home or you can charge via the frame, whatever you want. I always take the battery out. So, of course, the million dollar question, how is that battery doing? Well, I drove at the moment 26 kilometers and the battery is still good for 47. And that's again with my weight. And this really surprises me. Now, in all honesty, I've done a lot of turbo driving in this route because I do want to know what the bike can do. And of course, want to have a little bit of fun for the first ride. And I actually in all honesty i didn't expect the battery to hold up that long but it is explainable now when you drive in a normal bike you have to get momentum so you have to get on speed right and as soon as you are at that speed it becomes easier to maintain that speed and i think that's the whole thing about the experience if i have to yeah, compress it into a few sentences it's like you feel no resistance and then you feel resistance and you go like, hey, what's going on? And then you look at your uh, speedometer and you go like, oh, I'm already driving 25 kilometers an hour. At that point, the motor stops working or works a lot less because I can feel a difference at 27 kilometers an hour between eco mode and turbo, but it's very, very minute. And I think that's the whole thing why the battery runs so incredibly long. I use it to get up to 25 kilometers, but on average I drive I think about 27, 26 kilometers an hour. So that means that I hardly drain the battery. And this is also why we went for the electric mountain bike instead of, for example, an electric scooter. <clears throat> One moment. <laughs> First of all, of course, you want to have a workout. And that's very important and it's a lot of fun. But second of all, when you go for an electric scooter and they say you can drive for 70 kilometers, 
often that will be around 25 to 30 kilometers and after that you are stuck you can't go forwards you can't go backwards without getting a lot of pressure on that scooter because the battery is empty right with these kinds of bikes it's very very easy in turbo mode if you stay below 25 kilometers it's absolutely no effort at all so you can drive long distances on 25 kilometers an hour but as soon as the battery is drained you can still drive so if you still have 10 kilometers to go you have to push a little bit harder but you can still get home and this is actually why i think the electric mountain bike is a way better solution for people like me who like to take pictures and let's be honest i love taking pictures i love exercising but if i have to choose between getting my exercise in or the picture i would much rather get the picture and i think that's the big difference if you're a kind of guy that wants to shave off every milliseconds in every route don't go for an electric bike just pedal train and go there and in all honesty i think that's where the trick is if you have a handicap or for example you have copd and you love mountain biking it's not possible with a bike like this you can go on the trails again if you are like me and you don't care about shaving off every second but you just want to have fun enjoy the area go on turbo mode drive to the trail and then switch off turbo mode and go for eco or electronic mountain bike uh, sorry electric mountain bike mode or whatever you want and have fun on the trail and drive back in turbo mode it's all about what you want and let's be honest, if you want a real workout, just turn off the motor and start pedaling for 20 or 30 kilometers. Trust me, you will get a real workout. I've tried it for a few kilometers and yeah, it felt like my old bike, but I mentioned that before. So this is my first electric mountain bike and well, it's my first ride and I absolutely love it. So highly, highly recommend it. And of course, get a cube or another brand whatever you like but i've had a few cubes and they never disappointed me and before that i had some other brands and well let me put it this way the cube for a guy like me is a really good choice okay i hope you enjoyed this episode and again normally it's all about photography and video but i wanted to do something different now for you guys and you had so many questions about the bike so i thought let's do it see you again next time if you like it subscribe and hit that bell notification and of course give it a little bit of a like and leave comments below See you again next time, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm back home, but I just realized I have to make one thing clear, and I hope you got this from this video. There is still about 43 kilometers left in the battery after a 34-kilometer drive. But do realize, this is mostly flat area. I mostly drove above 25 kilometers. Sometimes I intentionally drove on turbo mode just to check it out. So I think when you go on a trial, again, with my body type, I hope the battery will last the 10 kilometers to the trial, 21 kilometers on the trial in EMTB mode or Eco, and then the 10 kilometers back. Well, we're going to test that as soon as the heat is a little bit over. And I'm just going to do that on social media. I'm not going to do another video because I'm not a reviewer for mountain bikes. So, but I do want to add that part. So, and overall, I really enjoyed the ride. This is a bike that will give me a lot of miles and a lot of fun.